Yo yo, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this fake liquid simulation. You can use it for bottles or potions or whatever. It's not an actual simulation, so it's not demanding on your computer. So I'm going to start off with just a cylinder, and this will be our actual water. So here I'm just going to delete the top face and loop select these edges and grid fill them. Next, we'll add a plane. I'll add an ocean modifier to that. Okay, and just up the resolution for them. Just duplicate it, put it up to 14. And the spatial size will turn down just to give it more waves. And then I'm gonna animate the time for it. So keyframe at one there. I'll put this to like 15 or something. You wanna select whatever object you're using as the water and use a shrink wrap modifier. Put that on the ocean. You can see now with the animation, it does move with it but it's not subdivided, it looks pretty bad. Okay, so we're just gonna wanna change the wrap method to project, change the snap mode to outside surface, turn on the Z axis, reverse these two. And then now you can see it's gonna move with it, and if we hide the ocean, you can see just the top of the mesh moving. So it's really low quality now, so we're just gonna add a subdivision on top Probably put it to something like two or three. You can see now if we just play it, the bottom's all round and there's a lot of artifacts through the sides. So a way to fix this would just be to add some loop cuts. So I'm gonna add a loop cut all the way up and one down. And you'll see there's still some artifacts here. So we're just gonna add a subdivision on the bottom of it. And now you can see almost all those artifacts are gone. You can do this on a bunch of different objects, it doesn't really matter. The more complex an object though, the more chance you do have running into any artifacts. So here's an example with the Suzanne. You can see on some models that have a bit more detailed topology, there is kind of a little lip that forms. I'm not exactly sure how to get rid of this. If anyone finds a fix for this though, just throw it in the comments. Also, if you want to animate this, just add a damp track to the ocean modifier and then put the target as the empty and then put the empty as a child of constraint onto the main axis and put the influence to like 0.7 so that's pretty much how you can achieve this effect if uh, you guys got any questions just put them in the comments and i'll try and answer them other than that i will see you guys later